take any photos of her at Weatherfield Warblers? No, no, we were too busy singing and having fun, weren't mm. we, love? Yeah. Hey. That lovely smile she's got. Well, I hope it's a smile. I read that when they're tiny, it's just a reflex. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, so when we mm. think she's smiling, she's just got wind. <laughs> or she's worrying about North Korea. Or which horse will win the 130 at Kempton. What? Eileen told me. Oh, well, it's, it's just a bit of fun, that, love, that's all. Did you win anything while you were at it? Yeah, yeah, just a few, Bob, that's all. Oh, well, that can go in a piggy bank, then, can't it? Can you just both just shut up? I'm trying to revise for an exam here. Eh? Oh, sorry, mate. Today. History. Ah, you walk it. And how do you know? Well, you've had a lifetime of studying me, haven't you? And I'm ancient history. Oh. <laughs> it's a dad joke. No, seriously, mate, I can see you, you know, you're putting your back into it. It's good. Yeah, whatever. More peace and quiet in the school playground. Well, good luck. Hey, I mean it, Si. Well, I say that that's a smile. Mm. Eva. Got no idea. You're gonna have this yourself one day, ain't you? You're not gonna know what's hit you. <laughs> well, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. <laughs> oh, that's Rosie. She's just landed. I'm worried because they're gonna be paying her in yen, honestly. Must be a big place, that. Loads of Japanese seem to get paid there. In yen. Johnny, gonna be all right today. Gonna have to be on it. Did you know that Ali had quit yesterday? Really? That's oh, a shame. Her and Aiden were close. I think she's gonna carry on this work. I, I just thought I'd give you the heads up. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Liz. You all right? Sorry, I'm a bit all over the place. Uh, off to see Aidan at the chapel of rest this afternoon. Oh. Do you want me to come with you? Oh, thanks, but Jenny's coming, so... I'll be thinking of you. You were the only one with any time for Aiden when everyone else turned their backs on him. Yeah, but the whole factory. I mean, I'd have been blown away just to get a few quid. The question is, why'd they try to keep it from you? Well, do we know that for sure? No, Adam would have told me normally. And he was pretty shifty when Jenny and Carla were in the office. I suspect he's in cahoots with them. And why, at the same time, Carla was trying to get rid of you from the factory? Which she's now achieved. And we need to get a hold of the complete will. Check what else it says, because this... This is only part of it, and we need to know everything. Shouldn't you be packing? Hmm? If you've got a plane to catch. Uh, no, there's, uh, there's been a change of plan. How do you mean? I thought you'd secured a residency. That's still nothing definite. I don't get this. <sighs> so when uh, are you going back? Or when something turns up. Look, you have to understand the entertainment business isn't like the normal world, right? Things are more fluid. And that's just a fancy way of saying you're out of work. For a few weeks, maybe. It won't last. Never does. All right, you want the truth? I'd rather stay here and look after you. Oh, really? Uh, I was very nearly an orphan back there. We need time together to, to get over it. All right, you can stay, you little charmer. Yeah, I, uh, I owe you an apology. Never say no to them. <clears throat> you know, I wasn't sure before the wedding if you were right for my mum. OK. But the way that you've been looking after her since she got shot, well, I couldn't have been more wrong. Well, it's, um, it's nice of you to admit it. Not a lot of people would have done. Yeah, well, I just wanted to put things right with you. So, how are things with you, anyway? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm just looking somewhere to live at the moment. But don't the hospital provide that? 
Well, I'm living in a tiny room in Halls, share a kitchen with about 25 people, and I'm pretty sick of it, but where I'm going to find the time to uh, go flat and I'm not too sure. Well, Brian's flying back to Ibiza tonight. You can come and stay with us if you want. Oh, yeah, I'm sure Michelle would love that. Yeah, she would. Well, come around this afternoon, bring your stuff. Well, do you not better run it past her first? No, no need. I mean, if you're sure that's what you want. OK, thanks. Appreciate that. I feel so guilty letting you do all that. Mm. I don't mind. It takes me back to when Jason and Todd were little. Well, they turned into huge hulking lummoxes. You wouldn't deny me that, would you? I said Gary could come around later, if that's all right. Spend some time with Zach. He'll be over around three. You told him what you're planning? That pleasure's yet to come. <laughs> Have you thought any more about Bristol? I meant what I said. Could be the fresh start that we both need. My whole life's been round here. What would I do with the house? Sell it. And if you meet someone and I'm the mad old woman living in the attic. We've been through too much together. Can't say I'm not tempted. Good. How are we doing for time? Fine. It's a nice choice of suit. I always liked him in that. Tracy's bill for the flowers is over there, by the way. What did you go to her? Well, where else was I supposed to go? I don't especially like the woman. And I don't like the fact that she's making money out of my son's death. I just wanted to do all I could without bothering you. Uh, all right. Stop going on about it. We'll get the coffee. You've not made me any, have you? Well, I wasn't going to make some just for myself. Oh, it's whiskey's what I could do with. Well, you can't go to the chapel of rest smelling of alcohol. Carla was saying uh, Ali has quit at the factory. Yeah. Yeah, so I, so I gather. And you didn't think to tell me about it? <sighs> just, I thought you would have heard. Anyways, it, it's, it's how important. Yeah. Here, get this coffee down, yeah. Shot of caffeine will do good. <gasps> I am so sorry. I didn't even want any flaming coffee. I'll, I'll, I'll get it straight to the dry cleaners. Oh, they'll get it out by tomorrow, huh? Yeah, no, they can do wonders these days. You know, I'll, you go on ahead and I'll see to this. Trust you to choose this moment to get clumsy. What are you saying? That I did it on purpose? I didn't say that. No, but you meant it, didn't you? Just like you meant it when you accused me of wishing Aidan dead. We were going to draw a line under that. Yeah, well, clearly you haven't. Three weeks now. Three weeks I have been treading on eggshells around you. Yeah, I'm sorry if I've been upset. I'll try and cheer up. All I get is accusations. How can you still think I hated him that much? All right, we didn't get along. Oh, will you just stop it? Had enough. <sighs> You're nothing but a liability. Stay away. Anyway, Steve's looking after Ollie, so he's invited Gary round. How does Eileen feel about this? Well... She's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Mm. Yep. Hi. Morning. Morning. Morning, love. Thought I'd just come and treat myself to a glossy magazine. Yeah. Well, actually, I must dash, but uh, I'll see you all later. Yeah. You will. Bye. 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 So you were talking about me? Oh, no. It's written all over your faces. We were not talking about that. Well, I don't know who to believe anymore, but I'm sure you feel the same way, I expect. Eileen! Oh, talk about good timing. Hiya. Uh, what time are you off? Right now. Just went for a taxi. The fancy driving. No, Jenny? I told her I'd rather go on my own. You had another hour? I don't know if I'm coming or going at the moment. The offer I made before still stands. I couldn't ask you to do that. I meant it. Well, if you're sure. Positive. Bye.
bit snappy. I'm off to the pub doing the rounds so everyone can have a snipe at me. Eileen, we were talking about Steve letting Gary see Zach behind Nicola's back. And then it just all got a bit embarrassing, so we all clammed up. Look, my surname is Stape. There's nothing you can tell me about being badmouthed on the street where you live. We're neighbours, Eileen. I don't want to fall out. It does get better. You know, people don't forget, but they move on. And then you do something to help them out or something they like, and it gets them back on side a bit, and then over time... It... Thanks. Well, if you ever want to talk about it, I'm here. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be around here much longer. Exactly how I felt after John. Yeah, I'm just going to have to see. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Nothing. Why don't you come round to mine? We can have a bottle of wine and a good old moan about being daft enough to marry the men that we did. Hmm? Not interrupting anything, am I? No, no. <laughs> well, an old friend called round yesterday and brought me these. Talk about coals to Newcastle. Have a shopful. So, I was wondering, would you fancy putting on a few pounds? Thanks, Rita. <laughs> well, you can always foist them off on Johnny. I bet he's partial to a soft centre, isn't he? Hey, what is it? We've had another row. Oh, love. Do you want to tell me what it was about? We were getting ready to go and see Aidan in the, in the chapel arrest. Mm. I spilt coffee over the suit that Johnny had laid out for him. I've just taken it to the cleaners now and, and they don't know if they're going to be able to get it out oh, one night. Oh, sweetheart. I saw him get in a cab with Liz MacDonald. Well, I wouldn't read too much into that. It wasn't just about the suit, though. He had a real go at me a few weeks ago, accusing me of hating Aidan and wishing him dead. Why didn't you tell me? I was just hoping it would blow over. I just really wish I'd tried harder with Aidan while he was alive. Because, you know, grieving goes on a long time. And, and if Johnny keeps holding it against me... Hey, you're jumping the gun now. And if I'm not... What do you say to a dead body? I had to do it once, so I do know what you're going through. Me and Jim had a little girl, Katie. She died. I've no idea. Yeah. So we had to say our goodbyes to her. It's amazing how much you can say once you get going. I do think it helps. When was that? 26 years ago. And there's not a day goes by I don't think of her. OK, when you're ready, Mr Connor. I'll wait here. Actually, would you mind coming in with me? No, no. I said, didn't I? Come on.
You've got to stop ringing me, Sharon. There's another load in there to pack up, Kurt. OK, I'll be right with you. No, I didn't mean with you. Look, I can't talk now. Alright. Hey, how are your exams going? Yeah, they're alright. I've just had history. It was a doddle. Oh, I hate history. What, oh, this brilliant essay on the Treaty of Versailles? I'm falling asleep already. <sighs> End of the First World War. You geek. No, it's only because I watched a film about it. Uh, no, Treaty of Versailles 1947. Yeah, um, but I think it's something else, like Paris Peace Treaty. I mean, I might be wrong, but... Uh... Versailles is in Paris. Yeah, I know, but I think it's, like, two different things. Doddle, was it, Simon? I'm just going to take her for a walk, see if I can get her off after her feed. You look tired, love. Oh, thanks. It's called being a new mom, isn't it? Yeah. Well, can't even do it. Well, it's not our problem. No, I know, but, you know, women like all that baby stuff, don't they? Well, do you know, I think she's got enough on a plate, hasn't she, with the funeral tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe uh, Si could do it. Do what? Take your sister for a walk. What, me? Toya's been up since five. She needs to have a lie down. You know, you've got to bond with her sometime. Do I? Yeah, of course you do. She's your kid's sister. Play your cards, right? She'll grow up adoring you. Right. Just got to drop myself. Good lad. How was the exam? Yeah, it was OK. You see, I told you. How are you feeling? Oh, you know, up and down, but I live... Mm. Listen, I've got believe what... Oh, no, ladies first. Uh, well, you'll be pleased to know, or well, at least I hope you will be, uh, that we're going to have a more permanent house guest. Oh, right, he's, he's told you. Well, when did you find out? Well, it was me invited him. What? Hello? Oh, hey, Ali. Yeah, come on up. Ali? Yeah, he, he was looking for somewhere to live and, um, well, since Ryan's off today, well, I thought... No, there's been a change of plan. Well, what's for tea? What? what? So, so he's not going now? Has Mum not told you? I'm staying on to help get better. Are you? Hey, look, this is really, really good of you. Ryan? Ryan, same, uh, what time's your plane? I'm not going anywhere, mate. Not for a few weeks, anyway. Uh, yeah, listen, Ali, uh, sorry, there's, um, there's been a, a mix-up. You're going to have to go back to your digs, at least for a bit. Right, well, it's a bit late now, because I've already given my keys back. There's a nurse taking my room, so... Well, my favourite people, all under one room. He looks happy. <laughs> There's something you should know, Gary. What? I'm going to be moving quite soon. Not your own place, that's good. To Bristol. To Bristol? I've got a friend there. Same line of work as me. Well, that's like what? It's like, it's like, it's like a three or four hour drive away. And you're taking him with you? Well, obviously. If I'd have known you were into babysitting, I would have got you a dolly for your birthday. I'm doing it because they're going to pay me. Oh, you little cutie. I'm only messing with you. Have you got a smoke? Yeah, yeah go on, then. What, you worried someone's going to see you? No. Does it cry? Yeah, it drives me mad. Are you smoking? And near Susie as well. Does you... Do your dad and Toya know you've got her? Yeah. Go and ask him if you don't believe me. I will, and you can come with me. No, I'm not. You can't order me around. Move. Is that the mother? No. What's it to her, then? They're all nuts where I live. <laughs> You said some nice things in that chapel. Well, you do what you can, don't you? It'll take time. You said not a day goes by. No. You will get through it, though. Ow. Oh, please. How? 
now. Well? Ben, Aiden's lawyer, has given me the complete will. It's identical to what we've seen. Is it the final one? No question. So, my dear, you are about to become the proud owner of Underworld. I don't know whether to laugh or to get angry. Did they really think I wouldn't find out? Well, obviously, they've been playing for time. Is, is that legal to not tell me? Uh, it's not illegal. It's immoral, though. So what now? Obviously, the Connors will challenge it. You have to fight. Fight for what's yours. Fight for what Aiden wanted you to have. They have been playing you ever since he died. Well, not anymore. Coronation Street's back in half an hour. <laughs>